Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Dan Lawrence. I'm an assistant professor of writing in the Department of Writing, Language, and Literature at the University of Wisconsin-Superior, and I will be your professor for this course. This is Writing 409P01, Digital Writing, and I love this course. I'm really excited about this course, and I'm glad that you're taking it with me. It's a course of my own design, and um, you know, I, I, it's kind of my master course, my master class on digital media, social media, and writing. And it's something that's my specialty area and something important to me, and I think something important for you as well as you move beyond uh, UW Superior, our, our program here, and think about your career um, and, and also your civic life, your engagement with democracy in the world. So what is this course then? What is digital writing? Well, my background is in, uh, my, my PhD is in rhetoric and technical communication, and I specialized in digital media theory. After completing my PhD, I started a marketing career and worked in digital marketing, managing digital assets and social media, advertising, websites, blogs, Facebook advertisements, Google ads for a large healthcare company, three hospitals and 12 clinics and hundreds of uh, medical providers. And it was there behind the scenes that I started to become worried, I would say, about these practices, about designing advertisements that could be targeted to individuals based on their age, their income level, their education, their behaviors. And it really encouraged me to come back to academia and start teaching again, because I wanted to share what I had learned in, in the private sector designing digital advertisements and share that with students because it's so powerful um, and so interesting. I mean, from a really broad scale, a major shift happened roughly in 2017, 2018, where the global digital advertising spend surpassed the television traditional advertising spend. In other words, companies now spend more money on digital advertisements than traditional advertisements. Television advertisements are your old media advertisements, print. Not that those things aren't important, they're still widely used, but this major shift has occurred. So we need to rethink, you know, social media is not a toy anymore. It's not a diversion. It's not just something fun you do in your free time. Facebook has about 2.5 billion active users across the world. Companies are spending billions of dollars on these hyper-targeted Facebook advertisements. And Americans are spending about three and a half hours every day on their mobile devices, which is the principal medium through which users access social media through their mobile device, the majority of users. So this is an interesting conundrum that we're facing. And, and of course, you've probably seen things about disinformation and fake news and how it rapidly spreads across social media. So this is this class is a gateway in, into all of these ideas and also a way to gain some practical experience with these tools like the Facebook Advertising Manager to better prepare yourself for careers in writing. So here we are. It's, I'm glad you're here. It's a, it's a great course and, and I hope you'll enjoy it. This is the eight week accelerated version of this course. So we're gonna move pretty fast, um, not too fast. You know, it's still carefully designed, but we're, we're gonna move at a pretty good clip. So you're gonna wanna Make sure you're following along with the readings, always keeping an eye on what's due and hitting your deadline so that you don't get bogged down. You know, if you start missing some of your work, it, you're going to feel pretty buried pretty quickly. So you're really, you're going to want to stay on top of everything. That being said, you know, you, I'm a resource here for you. So make sure you get in touch with me. If you're starting to get lost or starting to, to fall behind, I'm, I'm here to help you. Uh, this is a relatively small class, too, so you can get a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention from me 
And that's one of the great things about UW Superior is these small class sizes where we can get to know each other pretty well, even, even though we're online. So the, the rough idea, the rough format here is, let me break down what, what we'll be doing, is we're going to start with these big ideas asking what is technology, reading a piece by Martin Heidegger, the famous German philosopher, the question concerning technology. Heidegger really tries to upset our definition, our understanding of technology. He tells us that technology is more than a means to an end that technology is actually revealing something about what it means to be human, revealing some kind of truth about us. There's more to technology than just its instrumental definition. There's more to technology than just what, it, what its function is. A cup of coffee, a coffee cup, let's say. The cup itself, the object, right? Um, it's more than just a vessel by which you consume the beverage. The, the coffee cup reveals something about human artistry. It reveals something through its, its color, its shape, or its design about what humans value. Um, it does more. It does more than simply deliver liquid into your mouth. Right. This is a very simple example, but but I hope that helps to kind of illustrate what Heidegger is talking about. The the coffee cup also uh, calls out to us. Right. The coffee cup almost asks us to use it with its handle. In the, in this way, technologies are extensions of of who we are as humans. They, we created them. Right. And they they they're necessarily linked to us in this way. Also in this way, Heidegger explains how technologies act back onto us. The very things that we create go on to influence us in this kind of reciprocal fashion. I'm getting pretty deep here pretty quickly, but we start with these big ideas, rethinking what technology is and challenging our definitions of technology. Feenberg also does this too, that your week two reading. Feenberg asks us to consider a a democratizing uh, model for technology. Perhaps if technologies influence us so strongly, perhaps we need to collectively uh, involve ourselves in their design and their development. It's a really, it's a nice idea. It's a, it's a, and, and so infrequently do philosophers actually offer answers rather than just asking questions that I really love this piece by Feenberg. He offers a potential solution to some of the woes that we face from our technologies. So that's week one and two, Heidegger and Feenberg. Then we move on to, you'll read a selection from my new textbook. It's called Digital Writing. It'll be published by Broadview Press this year. And it's about a rhetorical approach for writing for digital media. So I introduced some rhetorical concepts there. Hopefully some of them will be familiar to you from your other, your intro to rhetoric class, or if you've taken other writing and rhetoric classes. Um, but it's not necessary to have a rhetorical background to, to understand them. Rhetoric roughly is the art of persuasion and it's a really useful toolkit for writing and creating content in social media because social media content is not just textual, it's also visual, it's videographic or video based. It can be interactive or game based. So there's a lot to think about rhetorically. Again, rhetoric just being the art of persuasion. How do you craft a message in such a way that it has a particular effect upon a particular audience. It's designed with the audience in mind. So that's week three. Then we go on, we read Ian Bogost, who has this fantastic idea of procedural rhetoric or thinking about how processes themselves can be persuasive. We move on to thinking about the, the actual design of the advertisements themselves then. There's some great training videos from Megan Adams uh, that you'll watch through the LinkedIn learning platform so you can learn how to schedule and create, design these advertisements yourself and, and use them in small business or use them on your resume if you want to apply for positions like a social media coordinator or a digital marketing specialist or what have you. 
Um, these digital skills are really useful for giving you a leg up on the job market. Even if you're not specifically going to go into a career like social media coordinator or a digital marketing specialist, even if you don't want to go down that direction, these digital skills are going to make you very attractive as a candidate for other types of general marketing positions, communications, editing. So it does not hurt to add these types of digital skills to your resume and your toolkit. Okay, I'm going a little long here, but let me then just talk about the major assignments for the course and the workload. So every week is mostly the same. You're generally going to be reading something. Uh, there's no required textbook, so some kind of article or a PDF I've provided in Canvas for you. There's going to be a weekly discussion board post due each Sunday by 11.59 p.m. And then there are five writing assignments. They're pretty short. They're not giant papers. They're not giant essays. There's five of those altogether, five projects they're called. Project one, project two, project three, project four, project five. There's a rubric and a description of each of those major projects in the course. There's eight total discussion board posts. There's two the first week. So pay attention to that. There's, there's two discussion board posts the first week of the course. One is very simply introducing yourself. The second is your reflection on the Heidegger reading. Otherwise, there's one discussion board post per week. There's a short quiz in the first week worth 25 points. It's about the syllabus. And then there's a final exam for the course. Very brief. It's a brief essay style response. You'll also want to note that I just want to bring this up. Pay attention that the class ends on a Saturday. So I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's a little irregular, but the, the course ends on a Saturday. So most of the due dates are Sunday by 11.59 p.m., except that last week, of course, it's Saturday by 11.59 p.m. That's just how the academic calendar is set up. I apologize for that, but keep, keep an eye on that. So that's the regular rhythm of the course. Most weeks you're going to be reading something interesting, usually watch some kind of supplemental video, and I'll have a video for you providing some context most weeks also. You'll uh, do your weekly discussion board, and then there's those five projects that are staggered throughout the eight-week course. Cap it all off with a final exam, and it makes for 665 points, and that's how you get your grade is from those points. So I think it's all pretty nicely set up in Canvas. It's week-by-week -week modules. You'll see everything you need to do in there. Uh, and don't forget the syllabus, right? Your, your syllabus is your golden ticket. That's always the place to go if you have questions. Um, it's got everything in it. It has the schedule, it has information, it has the point breakdown, it has descriptions of all the assignments, and, and almost anything you need is right there in the syllabus. So there you go. I think that's enough. I try to keep the videos under 15 minutes so they're manageable to watch them, but I'm, I'm happy you're here. I think this is a great course. I wish I would have had this course when I was a, a student because I just cannot emphasize enough how, uh, how, how attractive you can make yourself as a job candidate if you come in with some of these digital skills already under your belt. Um, so I, I hope you'll enjoy the course. That's enough. I have to, I have to stop myself. I'm happy you're here. Don't be afraid to reach out if you need anything from me, and I'll, I'll see you soon, okay? Take care of yourselves.